Mind reading is made out to be the supernatural ability that none of us can really possess. It's the special magical trait that you can never really attain and somehow it's just very, very mystical. At the end of the day, mind reading is one of the easiest things to do in the world. And this over exaggeration of how special it is really is what makes people believe that they can never do it. But mind reading comes down to one single very human and very normal trait. It's called empathy. Can you actually feel what somebody else is feeling? Can you actually read into their mental state and what they're going through? Because if you can, then you are mind reading. It's not some crazy thing where you're gonna listen to the person's thoughts. A lot of people think that you can invade their privacy and somehow go into their head and figure out their deepest and darkest fantasies and just their most twisted ideas and all of the crazy things that are going on in their head or does this person like me or do they not like me? It's just about being empathetic. Can you actually put yourself in their shoes? Can you feel what they're feeling? And most people cannot because they're very self-absorbed. Most people are walking around not paying attention to you because they're so focused on their problems, their life, their drama. And if you can't ever step outside of yourself, you're never going to read somebody else's mind because you can barely even make sense of your own mind. When you don't have your own stuff together, you can't really take on somebody else's feelings or emotions or mental state. You can't read into it because you're so busy dealing with your own crazy thoughts. And that's why all the time I'm nagging you and going on about meditation, exercising, taking care of yourself, eating well, right? Because that's what's going to put you in a place where you're finally able to step outside of yourself. You can't take responsibility for somebody else's thoughts and feelings if you haven't taken that responsibility over yourself yet. So it is about really dialing down your own routines, your own thought patterns, self-control, self-discipline with yourself, and really living a life that you feel happy with. And once you have that in place, reading somebody else's mind is the easiest thing in the world. I work with people every single day as a coach and I have this experience where I know what they're gonna say before they even say it. I can finish their sentences. I know what the problems are before they even bring them up. I can listen to somebody's voice in order to get an idea of where they are in life, what they're going through. And of course, I've spent a lot of time actually helping people. So that plays into this for three years. You know, I've been doing this nonstop every day. But there's another part to it that says, I feel good about me. I've got my stuff together and now I'm interested in helping somebody else feel better about themselves and do better in their life. Mind reading comes down to being willing to take responsibility for somebody. See, if you're doing it to manipulate because you want to get inside their head, then that's a dirty intention and you're not going to get through. People won't open up to you. They won't share with you. You don't even need to read somebody's mind. You can just ask them. And if you're authentic and you really care, they'll tell you everything you want to hear. Most people, they think, whoa, What's my girlfriend or boyfriend? What do they think of me? Do they like me? What is it that they like? And instead of just asking them and having an open conversation and sharing, and being authentic, it's about manipulating the other person into thinking that you're a good person, which in the end always leads to disaster. That's not sustainable and it's not healthy. So if you really, really wanna read somebody else's mind, how's this? How's this for a solution? If you wanna read somebody else's mind, get your own stuff together and then be an empath. Listen, feel what they're feeling. Imagine what they're going through. Put yourself in their shoes and then ask them and be real. And there you go. That's mind reading for you.